Good morning, Davy Crew. We just arrived at the hospital, and it's crazy because this is almost tomorrow would be exactly three months ago to the day that we were here at this hospital to deliver Indy, and now I'm back to get my tubes removed. So <laughs> it's like the opposite reason. Um, no more babies for us, but yeah, I'm a little nervous, but I'm actually feeling pretty good. Um, I know that it's gonna literally like feel like nothing. I'm gonna wake up and be like, wait, it happened. So I'm just trying to tell myself that that's what it's gonna be like. Um, I don't know how I'll feel afterwards, but anyways, we're trying to find a parking spot. We don't get to park in those front row labor and delivery this time. So um, we'll take the camera in with us. We'll film what we can and yeah, we'll keep you guys updated. Yeah. <laughs> I have a faulty ID. I always, it always takes me more than one try. So they got it in this hand. But I'm just waiting. I think I have probably like 45 minutes before they can go back. But no second guesses. I'm confident. In my decision. <laughs> See you on the other side. You don't even look I like you had surgery. <laughs> Do I look good? Your hair is like perfect. I feel like a tiny bit sleepy. <laughs> My throat is sore. Um, but I don't feel nauseous at all. I don't feel like I feel totally fine. Josh just showed me pictures of my tubes being like removed. It's different looking than I thought. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I feel good. I'm ready to go back to Disneyland. <laughs> Just kidding. I feel like a little bit, um, maybe like a little bit crampy, but that's about it. I just want to eat, but I know I need to be careful about what I eat. So, All right. anyways, let's go home. Who is this cutie pie? I missed you so much, Indy. Oh yeah. Tell the camera what you did with Grandma when I was getting my surgery. Took a bath. Indy. Your first bath with Indy? Was that so fun? Yeah. And I love it. <laughs> well, you guys, I am home and I am seriously feeling so good. Um, my biggest fear was that I would feel nauseous after the surgery. I feel so great. Like, they told me to be careful of what I eat and I do know that I need to take it careful, but I really feel like I could eat some light food. I sent Josh to go get me some pho, so I'm really excited about that. I might eat like the majority of the broth and noodles. I don't know how much like meat I will eat right now, but um, I just feel so good. Um, and I just wanted to say that like when I woke up from the surgery, I just felt this like overwhelming sense of like peace and just, I just really, I know that I made the right decision for our family. And so I have no regrets. I'm very glad that we did this. I'm glad that um, I never have to worry again about an accidental pregnancy. Um, both of my pregnancies were planned, um, but I'm saying I don't have to worry about an accidental pregnancy in the future. Um, so <clears throat> I just feel really good. I'm so happy to be home with my girls. Um, being away from them all day yesterday at Disneyland and then being away from them the majority of the day today I just miss them and I want to squeeze them and hug them and kids them. I Missed you like crazy Huh You guys are so sweet <laughs> I'll keep you guys updated. I don't know. I don't really know what else to talk about um my incisions are covered up with, um, I have like three band-aids, like one on each incision. Scout and I will just hang out and watch movies for a couple days and that'll be that. So thank you guys so much for keeping me in your thoughts and prayers and for all of your nice comments on our last video. After I eat, I might take a little nap. Um, and then I'm just excited to hang out with my family. So I will see you guys in a while. All right, you guys, it's 11 o'clock at night. Um, after we got home, Josh brought me some pho, and it was so 
I'm not gonna make that joke. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> I, I was so confused on what happened. It was really good. Um, I was worried. The doctors were like very concerned. Like, be careful about what you eat. Don't eat too much. Like, maybe clear bra. Okay, wait. This is what happened. I was hungry. Kaylee woke up in the morning. She's like, I'm starving. Yeah. And then we went to the doctor, and I was like, what can she eat after? And she's like, well. If you do plan on eating today, just like a clear broth. Maybe juice. And like maybe some juice. And she's like, and maybe if you're filling up to it tomorrow, you can eat a little bit more. And I was like, <laughs> uh-oh, Kaylee's like starving. And so then I was expecting to walk in there and you'd be like, I'm so nauseous. And I was kind of expecting that too. One of the first things Kaylee said was like, I asked the doctor if I could eat pho, and I was like, what? <laughs> and she's like, I don't feel any different, so. Yeah, I felt very normal when I woke up. I did not say anything Should funny, we show them the unfortunately. Pictures? No. Oh my no. gosh, there's pictures. I told them that there were pictures, but I'm not gonna show them. Um, so anyways, after we got home, after we ate our pho, Josh's mom was gonna leave, and then she was like, actually, I'll Smell stay. Really good. I do. Um, she was like, actually, I'm going to stay and let you guys take a nap. So Josh and I got to take a good nap while she watched the kids a little longer. I slept till 8 o'clock. I don't even know <laughs> we're time tired. I fell asleep. We had such a long day yesterday at Disneyland. So now we're getting ready to go to bed. Both girls are asleep and worn out. Because... Guess where I'm going tomorrow. I just thought about oh this. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot I'm about going this. To Disneyland yeah, you are. For a work meeting. He's got to sort everything out for the conference coming up. Mm -hmm. So... Anyways, my throat hurts. That's the only thing is my throat hurts. Um, I just want to say that the nurses and my doctor were so great. They made me feel very comfortable. Mm -hmm. They triple and quadruple checked that I was sure I wanted to do this. And everybody was really great. So, And Josh has been really great. And he feels bad <laughs> because everybody's like, why didn't Josh get a vasectomy? Um, but this is like... 100 as close to 100 percent um i mean i yeah I positive can't see that it, like it, you cannot get pregnant when your tubes are literally removed and even if josh got a vasectomy i feel like there would still be this tiny part of me that would worry because it's happened people it has happened and the cool thing about this one was the um, lowers the risk lowers, of cancer uh, they think could stem <clears throat> from the fallopian they tube. think it starts in the fallopian tube so we're right. gonna go to bed um, I will update you guys in the morning how I'm feeling, but if you're thinking about doing this, I would recommend it. Good, good night. night. Well, good morning, guys. I just wanted to um, update you guys how I'm feeling this morning before I end this video. And I definitely woke up feeling a lot more sore than I was feeling yesterday. Um, yesterday, they gave me a stronger medication like when I was in the hospital. And I never took more of that. I only took ibuprofen last night. Um, and I'm continuing to only take ibuprofen. I just don't like taking like really strong pain medicine. Um, so I'm going to try to just bear through it and just keep taking ibuprofen every six hours. I'm very, very sore. Um, also my throat is really sore from the breathing tube that they put down my throat. Um, so I am drinking some coffee. I'll probably, I had a lot of extra from last night so I'm probably gonna warm that up and eat a little bit more of that um, but yeah I'm just gonna definitely take it easy today um, I'm lucky that Scout is so good and she is perfectly fine just entertaining herself and watching movies um, which is probably what we'll be doing for the next couple of days what movie do you want to watch uh, um. Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid? I just gotta worry about this one back here. This one back here is a little higher maintenance. Huh. Are you gonna be high maintenance? Oh, really? Look at her trying to see the TV. She hates it when I lay her on the couch like that because she can't see the TV. Um, so anyways, overall, I am still very happy I did this. I know that the recovery, I think in like a week, I'll be feeling great. Um, the doctor said in two weeks, like by the time we're going to Disneyland for the Grand Californian stay, she said I'll be feeling great. So that's really good to know. Um, but yeah, I hope this video was um, informational for people that are interested in getting your fallopian tubes removed. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye!